Welcome back to the Tale of Two Smitties. Uh, this week is episode nine, and we are going to cover electrical rough-in. Uh, we're gonna show you wiring some 110 circuits uh, for AC power, like household items and, and phone chargers and stuff like that. And we're also going to run some 12 volt circuits to power uh, some LED lights, uh, water heater, water pump, things like that. So we were really hoping to show you a little bit more about our bus floor plan, but with Cody going back to work this week, which we're very grateful for, um, he's just been really busy, we've been really busy, so we weren't able to get to that, but we will soon. Um, so stay tuned and look out for that. All right, let's get to the video. <laughs> That's actually wow. perfect. All right, so we've got the first circuit in. We're gonna take a look at what that looks like and show you how we ran that wire. Okay, so the shop vac represents our washer dryer for right now. So this is the end of the circuit. Um, we run it back here. There's gonna be an outlet up in the countertop. So that's what that wire is for. Run it back along here. Let me turn around along here. We'll come up behind the kitchen cabinets. Runs underneath there, behind the sink. Sorry for the shakiness here behind the sink, into the bathroom wall, up inside the bathroom wall, and then behind, this will be a tile wall kind of coming up here. So this will run behind there, over to the other side. We've got it coming down the other side of the bathroom, inside the wall, down into, this is gonna be kind of a storage area here, inside the bed, we're gonna have an outlet here, on the outside of the foot of the bed. Uh, finishes along here and then it'll run behind these drawers, behind uh, our desk here, and then back to the breaker. So this is the end of the end of the line and the breaker will be somewhere in the wall here. So a good way to rough in your electrical is to have it all stapled in in place and then everywhere you're gonna have an outlet, you should pre-mark it ahead of time and then you can leave a loop coming out or some people cut this and just have two wires coming out uh, but you'll work that into the box later for the outlet but for now this is how we're going to rough it in so we've rigged up our uh, wire runner here and laura's gonna unravel some 12 volt wire it's gonna run back along here to the back in the bedroom Okay, so we just want to make sure that when we are pulling out the wire that we have enough slack so that we can, um, you know, nail it down all along the inside of this 2x4 uh, or 2x whatever it is. <laughs> and then we're going to go around because we're going to need this wiring to go all the way to the back of the bus and then across. And that's going to go to some lights and then to the water pump. I'm sorry, that one's going to the water. I actually know how to do this. Yep, so you're gonna put it all the way, this bottom part is where it cuts. So you may need to do one at a time. Just like that? Yep. And just clamp yep. it down? Perfect. Snip, snap, snip, snap. <laughs> To label these, I'm just using my Scotch washi tape. So if anyone's a crafter, you probably already have this at home and it's working really well with the Sharpie. So in case this isn't obvious, the reason we're doing this is because eventually these wires are gonna be behind the wall. And while right now it's easy to tell which wire goes where, eventually 
they're hidden. And you guess wrong, you put the wrong fuse on it. All right, so right now we are going through the rat's nest of wires and we're really just tracing them. So uh, we started at the back, we'll find the, the speaker, uh, the wires, uh, how they're connected, they say positive or negative on the back there. And then we're tracing that up uh, along the along the way. And so what we found is that each speaker is connected to one other speaker. So each circuit has two speakers on it. And we're tracing it all the way to the front. We're not cutting anything or disconnecting anything at this point. Um, we're just kind of keeping track of where everything is, the wires that, so I say all that because, so the reason I say all that, <laughs> so the reason I say all that is that we're gonna be keeping our speakers. We're just gonna be disconnecting them from the bus setup and, and connecting them to our own setup so we can play music through the bus and use it for whatever we want and not only when the bus is on and the bus radio is on. So pretty cool. Yelling at you. roughing in some of our 12 volt wiring and trace a bunch of the wires that you can see behind us. And uh, we've got a good shopping list heading to Lowe's now and then back tomorrow. And it is hot because we closed the bus up. So we'll see you then. Let's get out of here. Oh. All right, heading back to the bus to get a little bit more done with the DC electrical circuit. So here we go. All right, so we're gonna get some more of these circuits run. Uh, we ran three or four of them yesterday. I had to go get some more wire. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. So, um, we haven't really shared an entire floor plan yet. Um, and I wanna address where kind of the electrical is gonna be coming from. So at the back is our bedroom. Uh, we're gonna have a, a wood storage and a wood stove in front of the bed. And then we're gonna have uh, a desk here. Uh, with a couple outlets underneath and then we'll have a kind of a pantry tall cabinet floor to ceiling here and uh, our fuse panel and breaker box is going to be somewhere in here either in the back or on the side so um, this is where all of the electrical is originating and running from here by the way we are installing uh, 12 gauge 12 awg uh, wire for our dc circuits and that looks like this. We got the stranded kind, although they make solid as well. All right, so there's a mess back here right now, but we've got the water pump back here. Uh, we've got the water heater over here and we've got the nature's head in the bathroom. So all three of these circuits come to this point here. And then I've got them all uh, kind of strapped together here. We labeled them first so we didn't lose track of them. And then they lay nice and neat there. And then they'll come up to our box uh, and our fuse panel will be right in here. All right, so we've got those three circuits coming up here to our fuse panel. And then we've got two more circuits that are gonna run behind the cabinets up here. So we're gonna connect those two and, and hang them up here in this little loop just for now until we get the cabinets built. So we've got several circuits run. Uh, we've got a couple that are going the same direction, kind of looped together, um, just to keep everything neat and tight. And uh, I think the only circuits we have left to run are the ones that we're gonna try and get through the ceiling. And I don't have my fish tape, so we'll have to come back tomorrow with that and uh, get things run through the ceiling. Uh, that'll be for the kitchen side of things. So we're gonna have some puck lights under the cabinets and uh, a setup in case the fridge is 12 volt, which we think it's going to be. Uh, but we've got both plugs over here just in case. So uh, that's it. All right, so gonna head to Lowe's this morning and grab uh, a few extra things 
Uh, I need a new fish tape to get wires through the ceiling and over to the other side of the bus. So I'm uh, gonna head to Lowe's, do that, probably get a couple gang boxes for the outlets and uh, we'll get back to running some circuits. I just spent the last two. All right, so I just spent the last. Oh. All right, so let's try that again, except I'm gonna hang on to these. Um, so I spent the last two hours at the bus trying to figure out how to get the wires run and fished through the ceiling uh, to no avail. So giant waste of time, got nothing done. So I think we're gonna leave you here this week. I'm not really sure what happened. From what I could gather, there's insulation from roof to ceiling, solid, which the good part about that is that the insulation is solid and in good shape and, uh, and not deteriorating. The bad news is that we're not going to be able to get wires through the ceiling the way I thought, so we're probably going to have to run another couple circuits um, around under the bed, behind the bathroom, and all the way up to the kitchen, which is a shame because the kitchen is directly across from the fuse panel, so it would have been really nice to be able to kind of have that all uh, on a shorter circuit. Anyway, that's it for this week. Um, Got to go to work. So appreciate you guys watching. Uh, smash that like button if you would. And uh, if you're not subscribing already, we'd, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. Uh, if you click the bell, you'll get new notifications every time we post a video. All right. Thanks, guys.